So yeah, that, that right there, yeah. That wire wheel found all the weak spots and they were all here. Look at all the debris under this thing. Kind of figured that was gonna be right up there. So yeah, that, that right there, yeah. That's what we call a whoopsie, a foobar. Uh, I screwed up kind of deal. So I guess we're changing a windshield in a 1954 Bel Air. Never done that before, it should be fun. I did look it up online and it says there's a bunch of bolts under here you gotta take off and somehow I think I'm supposed to get these off but I don't know exactly how to do that yet. We'll figure it out and we'll go from there. Well, I found this little screw on the side here. I'm sure that does something important. And take, oh, I'm gonna lose that. <laughs> I am absolutely gonna lose that somehow. Now what do I do? I wonder if that unthreads somehow. I'm guessing there's a specialty tool for this. I don't have it. I'm not gonna order one. I just look for solutions. Well, how about that? All right, so there was, what was there? One, two, three, one, two, seven, I think. So there's three on each side and then one in the center. I had to remove my glove box here a little bit. Let's see if I can get some light in there for you. It just made it easier. They were like way, I mean way up in there. So there's two of them right there I had to get. Same on the other side. I ended up taking my gauge cluster back out again. So those gauges will probably stop working again. Awesome. It was way easier with that big hole cut in the dash to get those nuts out of there. Not like I think it was a terrible job to do from below, but I'm always about easy. I only got cut once, so. Then you come out here, should be able to just pop these off, I think. Well, maybe. Oh, this one slides a little. There we go. So, it's actually more solid than I thought it was going to be there. I'm nervous about these corners, because there's already a hole right there, so I can only imagine what the track looks like. But whatever, we'll get it out and we'll fix as needed. Look at all the debris under this thing. Holy crap. Oh, that just went in the cab, so. That was smart. I gotta take this this ring out, trim out. I don't know what it's called. I'm hoping that all comes out fairly easy. I, I guess we'll see. I, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I've done other things I've never done before and it's come out okay, so I'm sure this will be the same. It will be nice to have a nice clear windshield though because looking through this thing has sucked. Not fun. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, that didn't go good. At least in preparation for putting it back in anyhow all the screws in the bottom they came out great almost all the screws in the top as soon as i pushed the trigger it spun once and shot the screw straight up in there so i'm guessing whatever it was attached to is rotted out and gone but i haven't taken them down yet to find out what we're dealing with probably should wear a mask yeah eh. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, we'll get the other side out here. All right, this one's being stubborn. Did I forget a screw? Is that the problem? Let's see. It's out. I'm scared to look up at it. I don't know what I'm dealing with yet, but I'm nervous. I kind of figured that was going to be rotted there. No real surprise. Same on that side. Let's have a look-see over here. She's pretty well junk. And I can see daylight through that side, so... All I honestly really care about is that the window channel is good. It's all I really care about. What you're supposed to do is cut this inner lip off. But I don't know if that's with a... I don't know how you do that. Do I go on the inside here and cut? Oh, maybe I just cut this edge off where it overlaps. Right there, but that's what you do. That's what I'm gonna do. Got myself a new utility knife blade here, and by new, I mean old and rusty. Should still be sharp, I would think. And we'll just see how we do. I really can't see very well in here. I need light. For the record, I don't have light. So yeah, that's not so bad. That's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take that inner lip off. So hopefully the window just falls out.
Yummy. Well, I got it all cut and, and I, she, there's some movement there. So she wants to go. I did uh, set a blanket down on the hood, not to protect the windshield, to protect my hood. Well, it's out. I gotta figure out how to get the trim off of there yet. I'm gonna get the vacuum here. I'm gonna clean all this up with the vacuum and then we'll get your mug right up in there so you can see how bad it is. Well, to be honest, it's not as bad as I was expecting. I definitely think it's workable. I got a couple little holes here, one here, one here, and then that's probably the worst part right here. But the, 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 this area itself is actually pretty solid still. There, there, and there. So I'm gonna explore my options. I think I'm definitely gonna invest in some rust inca incapacitator, incapa in some of that rust stuff that you, that you spray on to neutralize it and stop it from getting worse. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I'm skilled enough to repair this patch panel. Mainly just so water doesn't leak into it. The other side, it's way better. It's, I mean, it's solid. It's still paint on some of this. So I'll probably just take the wire wheel to it all, clean it up real good, plug some holes and glue her back in, more than likely, my guess. Well, this had some glue on it at some point. Maybe I need to get some of that. I don't know what that is. We'll figure it out. Well, isn't this a prime example of safety here? I was time lapsing, so probably didn't show up very well. I took the time to be all protective with my blanket here, so I didn't get a bunch of shit in there. I didn't hit stuff I didn't want to hit, and well, lo and behold, it caught a single thread, and she done wrapped herself up good. I mean, I can't even, I can't get it out of there. So that's awesome. I mean, I can do a reenactment on. I mean, that's basically what happened. It happened that fast. And it is, I mean, it is. She's tangled real bad, like. Uh-huh. Yup. Uh-huh. Oh my God. All right. Well, that was fun, but I'd rather not do that again. Oh, because I was trying to be safe. Well, the good thing is, is I got most of it done. I got to finish up a little bit here yet, but that's no big deal. I did create some more holes, so I mean, that was good to find. Probably just going to seal them up. So I got to seal these up. I'm going to probably just plug them with some JB Weld and sand it down. I know, I know, just before you start going, I know that's not the correct way to do it. It's just how I'm going to do it. Same with these couple little ones here and this little one here. But on the other side here, I'm going to I'm going to have to repair. Sucks cuz I'm not good with sheet metal. But we uh we got a big hole here now. That wire wheel found all the weak spots and they were all here. So I got to I don't yeah, I don't uh-huh. I got to yeah, I just yeah, mm -hmm, that. Mhm. Mm I will I'll try and I'll try something. I got some sh thin sheet metal. We'll just see if we can't wedge it in there and as long as I can keep the shape from here to here, that's all I really care cuz then the seal will fit back over it and then maybe I'll even try and fix this. I don't know. I don't know how I'm so uh, yeah, I don't know. That's bad and I know it's where I mean there's another hole right here I can tell this is what I was concerned about but we'll get her fixed oh yeah I also opened more up down here that's that's awesome so there's more down here to fix too I don't th I mean it's not terrible it's really it's really not it just wasn't in my plan right now you know you know what I'm saying to be honest though replacing the windshield wasn't in my hand plan right now either a stupid hornet got in there and I was stupid and hit the windshield it's whatever I'm hoping I can get this all knocked out and cleaned up and I'm gonna pour 15 it and send it basically hope for the best what else can you do what else can you do damn it yeah so I'm not sure if I'm making this better or worse I really oh there's that I was looking for this piece and couldn't find it. Ah, ADHD, it's grand. Boy, it is a scorcher out today. Jeez. But at least it ain't snowing, so I'm okay with it. Anywho, what I was saying is I started trying to cut back and find some solid metal without going, to, I mean, it's it's rotted in there, folks. But I don't feel like, you know, replacing all that. I just want the window to sit in there properly and seal. So I got it. I'm trying to rebuild this. This would fall into that typical category of Simon's never done this before. And I'm trying to do it correctly so it doesn't delay anything. So, you know, I got some pieces cut. It's probably not even the right gauge sheet metal, but it's all I had. 20 gauge sheet metal. 
and I'll get this all butt welded up in the hair. And it does fit up there nice. I had it up there, but one-handed is apparently being a little difficult. There we go. You know, it kind of fits like it's supposed to. And I got a piece for down here. We're just gonna slowly patch it back together and hope it's enough. What else can I do? God, it did. Is it right? Probably not. I don't know. But you know, I'm hoping the windshield still fits. I don't really know. I've never done this before. I can't get in there anymore to grind it. I don't know if I need to grind it anymore. I mean, the wind. I mean, the window sits down here, and this is just where the seal flips over. So I think I'm okay. I found some lead in there. That was real fun. No, no, it was not. I got more to do yet. I mean, there's holes here. This was definitely the worst part because it was not even connected anymore. So to my eye, it looks pretty good. These ones down here, I'm not as concerned about because you know they're just holes. Still, the track, the, the frame itself is still solid. So I, I gotta figure out something for that. I'm gonna pour 15 the shit out of this because I mean, I like rust, but I like windows better. So, uh, I gotta go take care of my daughter now. So we'll get her back at her tomorrow probably because I want this windshield back in as soon as possible. That's ASAP, A-S-A-P. Mm -hmm. Yep, sure do. That's what I want. I know what I want and how it goes sometimes too. So I think it's coming out all right though. We're making progress. We're making good progress. I like it. Even for an amateur like me, I am happy with the progress I'm making. Just goes to show you ain't gotta be scared to try this stuff, people. You just gotta start. Once you start, you start just coming up with a plan and it just keeps evolving from there. Boy, I hope that window fits the next day. I truly do not like bodywork and I feel my hand was forced in this situation to fix this rust. It's not pretty because I don't know what I'm doing, but I had to do something. So we made it work. It looks kind of okay-ish, but I think that window should still grip onto there, which is all that really matters to me. And and now there's a corner there again because there, there was no corner there before. I'm gonna have my buddy come over and help me actually set this windshield in, mainly because it takes two people and I don't wanna break the window that I had to buy that I didn't wanna buy in the first place. I'm thrifty. Before I get to any of that, I've gotta... I picked up some pour 15 is what I'm trying to say and I'm gonna pour 15 the whole windshield frame. Don't worry, you won't be able to see it so it won't look like I painted the car, but it'll protect any from from future rust, from existing rust. I, I don't know what it does exactly, it's science. But I got it out, I got all the windshield out, so I'm just I'm just gonna do it, cause it's out, so it makes sense to me. This windshield frame has lasted, what, 70 years? So if I pour 15 it, I should get at least another five or six out of it, and then maybe I'll be bored with this thing and move on to something else. Enough yakking, I'm gonna tape this up and we're gonna get to painting. I think I did pretty good there. It's all taped off the way it should be. It's honestly probably more than I needed to do, but I, I didn't want drips and stuff all over my dash and floor and everything else. So I put that blanket in there as well. And no, I didn't, I covered this up too, cause it'll rust, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. I do know with my experiences of using Pour 15 that you gotta have some kind of top coat on it. Cause it is not very UV resistant. But I shouldn't have to worry about that with this application because all the paint or pour 15 will be covered up by the seal and the trim and everything else. So I should be okay in that front. Yeah, at least that's what I'm telling myself. The next day. I got the windshield frame all dried up now. I think it's cured or dry, whatever the technical term is. Looks pretty good though. My buddy Jeff came over to help me with the windshield. This was not fun to get on, but we got the trim on and everything. I'm actually kind of impressed with that deal. Now we're gonna try and get it in without breaking it in half, cause I'll cry. I'm sure it'll be fine though. We're gonna get it in. All right, I can't see anything. Right there. 
It feels like it's coming down into that bottom channel that we have. We have this side pushed down in the corner here because we want to get the, the bottom set in first. Exactly, and it's not quite there. That's in and about as far there too. So is it in all the way across the bottom as it looks? Yep, that looks too nice. I don't have to put it anymore. I mean, it looks good on the outside here. It does. So, which side do you think? So they're overlapped. Okay. So okay. don't pull, it, don't pull it straight. They say to put it at a bit of an angle, and then only go a few inches at a crack. It's rusting my eyes. Why does it make it rust in my eyes? Is it working? Yeah. Looking good here. Oh yeah. <laughs> We almost know what we're doing. No, we don't. <laughs> a little less pressure again, maybe. There we go. That felt better. I just want to tear that uh, yep. gasket. I just can't see, so. Yep. We only. Oh, there it went. That wasn't so bad. I was really worried for a while there, to be honest. So. The worst part was the gasket and the shroom. This was nothing. This was awesome. That is sweet. <laughs> I mean, we got a C for the first time since I owned the thing. We appreciate the help, man. My pleasure. I couldn't have done that by myself, no way. Honestly, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. I mean, we struggled a little bit with the gasket and the trim, figuring out the order to put it on and how to get it to stay on the window and everything else. But we got it figured out. I didn't record any of that because I forgot to grab the camera. And then putting it in the car, it took like 15 minutes, it was not a big deal. We just made sure we got the bottom set in, put some pressure on, pulled the rope and the lip, it worked just like every YouTube mechanic said it was going to. It's not a scary job to take on yourself if you wanna try it. Just make sure you have a good buddy with you who can help because it's it's definitely not a one person job. And now I have a windshield I can see out of and it's not busted because I'm a stupid hornet. It's freaking awesome, I love it. Gotta go around and put all the trim back together, get all that bolted back in on the inside. I gotta put the inside trim back on. And then this project is checked off the never ending list of projects. While I was waiting for my poor 15 to dry, I did some other things. Like I also went and put new A-arms, ball joints and everything else in the front of this thing too. Cause they were, they weren't doing great. Bushings were worn and parts were junk and pretty sure the ball joint on this side is about ready to fall out. I haven't done this side yet, but we're gonna get there. That other side fought me so bad. I don't know if I feel like doing this side today or not. I mean, it fought and fought and fought and fought, but it's cool, we got her. Also got O2 sensors in finally. Those should have been in earlier, I understand that. All these bolts, or nuts I should say, had that were bolting this trim down and holding it down on the inside, had some kind of rubbery gasket on it. They all crumbled apart when I took it out. So I'm just putting some sealant on these and hoping it works. It probably won't, but we're gonna try anyways. I'm doing this all by feel, because I can't get my head in there and my arm at the same time. So it's super awesome. And as a bonus, the threads are really weak on the studs. So you have to be extra careful. Not my forte. With my new dash setup, I can pull all my gauges and cluster out and I can get right in here to these. That would suck if it was stock still. All the more reason to modify your crap. There. That's all bolted down like it's supposed to be. I still gotta put my wiper gear in there and the inside stuff. So I'm gonna shut the camera down, wrap this up because it's kind of hard to videotape anyways. And we'll get her cleaned up and we'll see how we look. I think it's gonna look awesome. Well, I was able to get all the wiper mechanisms back in. So that actually turned out pretty good. My goal is to hopefully eventually maybe one day get some wipers on this thing. No real rush on it though. It, I mean, it looks, it's way better. It's it's perfect. It's way easier to see through now. I'm glad. I mean, as much as it sucked to have to do it when I wasn't ready to do it, I'm glad it's done. I even was able to work my trim back in here. These screws actually bit a little better than I was anticipating, so that's a bonus. A couple of them are questionable, but you know, it's whatever. It's no big deal. We just we'll ignore the one over there that's going into open air. But who cares? Overall, the windshield's in. It doesn't leak. I've been driving it around in the rain. <laughs> Perfectly happy with it. Glad I did it. Thanks for watching. See you.